Jared Poland Fronos Photo dot com and this is your over the line photo news fix this fix is brought to you by storyblocks and their massive inventory of studio quality stock footage if you've ever been in need of quick video clip for b-roll after effects templates or motion backgrounds storyblocks has you covered. Now we've been using Storyblocks extensively for over five plus years. Whether it's this lonely teddy bear on a swing or this terrible attempt at throwing a strike, Storyblocks has something for you. Storyblocks has been there for us with royalty free clips, audio and graphics, and they can do the same thing for you as well. To sign up for Storyblocks, head on over to storyblocks.com slash fro. First up, Kodak is back, back, again. back in business and ready to take the camera world by storm. Now we all know the storied history of Kodak and how they've done more for photography in my opinion than anyone else, which is why it's great to see them back with a massive $765 million bailout from the US government to produce, you guessed it, generic drugs. One of the generic drugs Kodak is said to be producing ingredients for is hydroxychloroquine. Gee, I wonder if they had to agree to make that drug in order to get the loan. No. Any guesses how long Kodak has to pay back that loan, by the way? 25 years. Yeah, 25 years to pay back that loan. For your information, the interest rate alone. And I couldn't find any mention as to what their interest rate is. It must be nice. But their stock surged 450% on news of the pivot, so someone got freaking rich. I'm rich, beyond. Go Kodak. Next up, in the recent announcement of the Sony a7S III, there was one feature that I found to be the most important and telling sign for the future of Sony cameras. That was the inclusion of dual card slots that not only allow you to use SD cards, but CF Express Type A cards as well. By now, we all know about CF Express Type B cards since Nikon, Panasonic, and Canon have implemented them into their cameras, but Sony, they said no to Type B in favor of Type A. So what's the difference you may be wondering? Well, Type A is smaller than an SD card, more than twice as fast, and possibly more rugged. Type B, on the other hand, is larger, faster, and well, did I say larger yet? For years, I've been screaming that Sony needs to graduate to larger bodies to accommodate CF Express cards for faster writing speeds. Well, Sony's response to me was, you're a moron, now shut up and sit still. We've got this. Now, if I had to guess, Sony will start including these dual, dual card slots in future cameras, allowing for faster write speeds with CF Express A cards. Right now, Sony is offering an 80 and 160 gigabyte card for $200 and $400 respectively. And if you want the card reader that goes along with it, get ready to spend another $120. I wonder if Sony will notice that there's two CF Express Type A cards missing when we send back the A7S III. Whoa, congrats. Wait, that's stealing. Next up, by now we all know the Canon EOS R5 has a tendency to overheat. Too hot to handle. But a newly discovered patent in Japan shows an EF to RF lens adapter that has active cooling built in. Now this might be an old idea, but I'm sure Canon could come up with some sort of RF to RF adapter that helps helps dissipate heat. When I first saw the patent drawings, I thought maybe a fan would be inside the adapter, but after thinking about it, you kind of don't want air being blown onto a sensor, you know, because then you would get some dust. You want more of the passive way of removing the heat. And that's exactly what it looks like Canon has designed, an adapter that allows for heat to exit the camera without introducing dust. Now I did notice something interesting in one of the drawings, which was a place for a bendy plastic straw to add liquid coolant. Right there, that's right. It takes ecto cooler as a coolant. Do I ever think Canon will bring something like this to market? Well, if it actually works, sure, why not? Though Canon may never actually release a cooling device for its cameras, that's not stopping someone else from doing exactly that. Tilta has announced an external device that is meant to actively cool the back of the camera if, more like when it overheats when you simply turn it on, yell pineapple if the Canon overheats. That's meant to bring down the camera temperature substantially. Pineapple. This six ounce device has a seven blade fan that spins at 6200 RPM at a noise level of 34 decibels, a heat sink and temperature sensors meant to cool your camera down 59 degrees Fahrenheit in just one minute and can reduce temperatures by a maximum of 82 freaking degrees Fahrenheit. Now my question is, how do you power it? How much will it cost? And will my hair get caught in the fan? Or you could just buy this, the Fronos Photo Heat Sink Remover. 
brought to you by me. Ah, ah. And finally, in what I think is some pretty big news, the AP has announced that they will only be shooting Sony mirrorless cameras from now on. In this partnership, Sony will become the exclusive supplier of cameras and lenses for AP news photographers around the world. Now, I do want to note that I've heard bits and pieces about this AP and Sony marriage over the last year, but now it's officially official. Officially means officially. Prior to this, many AP photographers used Canon cameras, but now the AP is kidding out our photographers and video journalists with a kit from the same manufacturer. The AP's deputy managing editor of visual and digital journalism said the quality of our video will go up the quality of our photos will go up our teams will be able to share kit memory cards batteries lenses this is a game changer for the AP and will give us more flexibility into the future the way of the future well I'm not sure that you can make the claim that simply by changing systems that photos and videos will get better David Ake of the AP went on to say what has me really excited about the switch to mirrorless cameras is we can now work in totally silent mode we truly can become flies on the wall without the annoying shutter sound interrupting the scene this is a huge leap forward in photojournalism now that's something I agree 100% with and one of the main reasons I switched to Sony. So what cameras will the AP be sending out? Most of the still shooters will be getting A92s for news and sports and some will get A7R4s for video and portraits. Now my biggest question is, will Getty stick it out with Canon or will they make the switch to Sony as well? My sources inside of Getty tell me that they aren't making the switch to Sony. And now with the R5, R6 and I'm sure the future R1X or something whatever they decide to call them, their pro mirrorless body, Getty will probably stick it out with Canon. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.